this is not a review of skincare products so if you're looking for that kind of video this is not it this is simply my journey to better skin from having white spots and hyperpigmentation as a person and woman of color you see i've always had a good and well balanced skin but i noticed a lot of difference after my second pregnancy my face never returned to its tone after the heavy pregnancy hyperpigmentation and i mean it was heavy my entire face was dark then i started experiencing adult acne which thinking back now i think they may have been hormonal acne i didn't have access to a dermatologist so i can't say but from the looks of it i think they were hormonal acne i was confused so i went into a black beauty supply store and mistakenly i picked up a product called bioclair because i really needed something quick and fast not knowing that that product contained steroids i noticed that my face to look my face looked blotchy it felt like my skin had thinned out and i could not take pictures without filter at that point in time it was terrible i felt awful and i needed a way out so i jumped onto youtube and i watched a lot of youtube videos for about two years that followed i carried on learning as much as i could about skincare i also decided to stop wearing makeup at that point in time because i felt i needed to be comfortable in my own skin instead of just using makeup as a hideaway piling it up and as if i was building a house no i had little to no knowledge of the damage the sun could cause to the skin i hardly ever used sun lotion or sunscreen sun cream at that point in time and i didn't think much about skincare regimen ignorance can be bliss i tell you so back to the story my skin was badly pigmented i had white spots um, on my skin including the scars from previously suffered acne so the acne that had healed they would leave the marks there and you know remember i said i thought these were hormonal because of the nature in which they were i was on birth control I was on pill at some point in time and then for the longest time that I can remember I was on the implant which worked well as it stopped bleeding menstrual bleeding every month for me and it was fantastic I think I had it for about six to eight years but I think they may also have contributed to that acne I can't tell for sure anyway after watching a lot of YouTube videos I thought I had found the right solution to my skin problem and so I made my move to the beauty supply store again this time around i asked for a product called carotone black skin corrector which i was going to use along with a sunscreen because <laughs> hello i had gained some knowledge from youtube but then i had now learned that yes it's must for black skin to wear sunscreen so thank god for youtube university at that point black skin corrector i must say isn't a bad product if you use it as it should be used which is for a short period of time because it contains hydroquinone which is a banned product in the uk and with sunscreen followed with another product of your choice so it could be your hyaluronic acid or a moisturizer to help maintain the skin that you achieve now rather than selling to me the black skin corrector the gentleman at the beauty supply store offered me this product from a skincare brand that i had heard before there is so much information on skincare brands on youtube you'll be amazed but you also be confused you will be lost you will be misinformed if you're not careful anyway back to the beauty supply store this gentleman then advised to me to use it use the product as it is stated according to the directions on the packaging and i should wait to see the difference so while i knew of the brand i just didn't know that there was such a product in the line of that brand that worked specifically for the issue that i was hoping to resolve so i had these white spots on my skin on my face white pig pigmented spots and if you look on youtube for white spots on black skin lots of videos will pop out none of them work that's because you can't replace the pigment that has been lost anyway before i start to lecture i asked how long it would take before the guy answered he looked at me and it was like just keep using it so all i did was i took a basket from a store and i bought a shed load a trolley load of patients good products take time i've come to learn now before i mention the product remember i said that they were hormonal acne i read about them too and i started to watch what i ate so i got rid of the acne doing a couple of things one time so with age with time some skin issues will clear off by themselves or they will reduce don't quote me but that is what i have noticed secondly water 
I now drink lots of water every day throughout the day if you need a measuring jug to measure it grab it if you need one of those massive gym bottles to drink it do it if you need an app to motivate you to or to remind you to drink water and not die drink it the third thing i also do was watching what i ate now sugar and dairy products are acne's best friends i only have to have a cup of tea or coffee these days and within 24 hours i can tell you that i'll see it popping its rude head on my skin so since then i have stayed away from tea or coffee and bearing in mind if i were to drink tea or coffee i would add sugar so lots of sugar in your system is not great it's acne's best friend it will just love you till the end then the fourth thing i also did was that depending on how bad the damage is it may be irreparable and i'll come to that later Number five, remember that skincare gurus on YouTube, they sat in front of lights. And I say that emphasis on lights, lots of lights. They also use camera filters that make any skin look like it's perfect. So always bear that in mind. If they're also telling you that this product will work, that product will work, it's because that's from their experience. It may not work for you. And besides those lights, all you have to do is stand in front of the the sun or your window with the sun shining bright at your skin and you will you will love yourself so don't forget they sat in front of lots of lots of lights and they also use camera filters number six is that for my hormones well i've changed birth controls over the years so between implant and the coil so far it has balanced out <laughs> nobody's using pull out metal here so that's something for you to bear in mind now, these may not work for you, but they've helped me and I continue to stay disciplined. Now, back to the product. It's, this is not a sponsored content, by the way. It worked for me. The recommended product is Macari Exclusive Active Intense Tone Boosting Face Cream. It's a mouthful, I know. But according to the blob on the packaging and what is on their website is that it's a moisture-rich toning facial cream formulated with a potent concentration of natural brightening actives that moisturizes and smooths skin as it reduces the appearance of discolorations revealing a more luminous uniform skin tone now what can you expect one it will lighten dark coloration of face and body two it moisturizes and conditions the skin three it smooths and softens fine lines and wrinkles four it evens and illuminates the skin tone now this exclusive collection is not recommended for sensitive skin skin types or first time users of macari products because the formulas that they have they're very powerful and they may cause irritation or inflammation or even outbreaks to your skin so what they advise um, if you contact them either on telephone or web chat is that you have to walk your way up if you are new to the brand now i'm not advertising for the brand at all i have no affiliation whatsoever you can take a look in the description box below there will be no links yes if you want to sponsor me i will gladly try the product but what i have tried is what i am sharing but also i'm diarizing it for myself in case tomorrow i feel like something exciting has come along you know the shiny object syndrome no i need to remember that this is for me now i'm happy with the product because it worked well for my skin my skin tone evened up and i love it there's a glow to it um and it doesn't look my, my skin doesn't feel blotchy so i don't feel like it's it's not bleaching my skin in any way shape or form the elasticity in my skin is still maintained. I don't feel like the barrier has been broken in any way. And how do I use it? I use it three nights per week after washing my face. So every other day. Sometimes I just wash my face with water or a hand soap that I have by the sink. Do as I say, not as I do, please. So mine is simplicity. I can't afford to be applying so many steps to my skin. I just haven't got that time or the energy. Something I always also started to do is that I use sunscreen with SPF during the day, every day to prevent future hyperpigmentation. So on the days when I don't use my tone boosting cream at night, I use the Aldi Retinol or glycolic acid toners and then i apply vitamin c serum and um, for my vitamin c serum i tend to switch between the primark vitamin c serum yes cheapskate which is 10 percent and the revolution beauty 12.5 percent vitamin c serum now these products 
for the Primark one, you get what you, you get what you pay for because yes, it's cheap, it's cheap, and it does maintain it. That's why I'm, I'm switching between the two products because I don't want my skin to get used to one. Now the Revolution Beauty is fantastic. You will immediately see the glow. Just to ensure that you apply. Um, SPF in the morning. In daytime, I don't use any other thing apart from the vitamin C serum and SPF and off I go. I don't wear makeup. As I said earlier, I started to notice a change in the appearance of my skin within the first seven days. And in three weeks, there was a visible difference. The, this journey has been a long standing one. I'm talking years. I've been battling this for years. So my discoloration started to fade away my skin feels moisturized um, it's smooth and it's supple my face evened out in tone and it became illuminated it, you can see the glow from within i kind of recommend the tone boosting cream enough for hyperpigmentation but do your own research for anybody that may be listening to this including even checking out to the macario website and proceed with caution it's your money at the end of the day now once you figure out what your skin type is then you can move to finding the right skin products for you and these are just my advice that i come I'm, I'm sharing from my experience in finding the right product for me and my skin i thought of three things i factored in these three important things one is affordability two is affordability three sustainability now if you have always if you have to always order the item from abroad or you can only obtain it from one particular store then it's not worth using that product think about it you have to constantly be getting to this one source in order to get your product then it's not worth your while more so if you cannot afford it if you cannot buy it three times over at any point in time without you batting an eyelid then it's best for you to forget it and in addition to that which is the last point is that with the first two, you need to ask yourself, can you keep up with the cost of buying this product in the long term? If not, I bought mission and find product that meet all three factors. But actually, as a caveat, I think at this point, I should also add that what works for the next girl, even your girlfriend, your best friend may not work for you because you've got different skin types. So remember, if you have to always order it from one source or from abroad, it's not great. If you cannot afford to buy it three times, forget it. And if you can't keep up with the cost of buying it, just let it be. So in case you're wondering, I do. I thought, what will happen to my face once I stop using this product? Well, I had to try it out for myself in order to know. So I stopped and my face was okay. It illuminated for a while. Yes, you will lose the glow after a while, but um, it also, my face returned to a darker skin tone after many, 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 many months, because I decided I was going to leave it for about six months, which I did. did. But the moral of my skin skincare story is that you have to stay consistent. So people will wake up in the morning and apply Vaseline to their face and you see it, you love it. Yes, it works for them because maybe they haven't had the opportunity of damaging their skin or acne doesn't love their skin as much as it does love yours so they haven't got any issues they've always used it it works for them that's fine but for you who may have skincare issues it is always worth considering some of the points that i've highlighted in this video i still don't wear makeup and to maintain my skin i just use a dime size every month every dime sized amount so two nights a week two to three nights a week i do that i apply sunscreen every single day my sunscreen is from audi I think it's a dupe of one of the popular brands, probably Olay, and it works great for me. It doesn't leave my skin dry. My skin is lovely and I can tell that it does work because it contains SPF 30. My skin doesn't feel damaged or blunt, burnt out if I stay out in the sun. So be it winter or summer, I'm great. So remember, I said, depending on the damage, it may be irreversible. Well, that's the case for white spots on dark skin. You cannot replace the pigments that has been lost but what this product does is that it um how do i describe it it uni 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 it brings uniformity to your skin so while that cannot while those spots cannot be replaced no matter what youtubers tell you once that skin your skin has lost its pigment in that area you can't put it back especially for people of color we with melanated skin 
there's nothing you can do about it. It's gone. It's gone. Some people will tell you to get potash and apply potash to your skin or get this and apply it. That white spot that you have on your skin, it's damaged. It's irreversible. There's nothing you can do about it. But I'm happy that I found this product. It was recommended to me from the beauty supply store, which is why you should be mindful of where you go to. If they're not willing to advise you on what you're about to pick up, uh, think about it again. So that's my story as to how I got my beautiful skin. I'm loving my skin every single day. I don't feel the need to wear makeup, although I will wear makeup if I feel like it. But once my eyebrows are done, there's nothing to put on my skin. And if you're looking for that glass skin, shave your face, apply oil. Olive oil from your kitchen will do just the work. Don't believe YouTube um, skincare gurus. Anyway, they don't call themselves gurus. We're the ones that label them. So always remember, thanks for watching. And I hope you found this information useful.